there has been a big increase when it comes to screen time for kids while they've been at home during the pandemic. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido joining us live now after talking with a local pediatrician on the effects this could have on them. And she joins us with more, Daniela. That's right, good morning. So we constantly hear, get your kids outside, get them away from that screen time. But we spoke with that local pediatrician. And he said, during these new times, screen time might not be such a bad thing for them. Children had to come home all of a sudden. Um, and uh, so the last two months, my kids have been coming home and staying home. For kids staying at home during the pandemic, it can be easy to reach for a remote or a laptop for entertainment. Before we were saying, you know, as pediatricians, we need to limit the, the screen time. Uh, but that depends on, of course, the context, right? And then there's a talk about risk and benefit ratio. Before, what, what were we trying to do? We're trying to get kids out to you know, play. So the kids who are sitting and watching TV a lot or playing video games a lot, they have a more sedentary lifestyle. And According to Dr. Fernando Fan, a pediatrician at Kaiser Permanente, as times change, so do the things kids consider sensory. But now we have to kind of look at, okay, what is the change in reality, right? Because now we say, well, you, you need to go online to do online learning. Uh, we're not able to visit our grandparents. We're not able to visit our aunts, um, you know, face to face. So you lose the social interactions. And so we need to use screen time to help with uh, establishing those things. Adjusting to screen time during this new normal of staying at home comes down to this. Uh, it's three C's. So it depends on the child. What is the content that you're you know, achieving or you're getting? And what is the context that you're you know, doing the screen time? Increased screen time doesn't have to be a bad thing when used correctly. It can help with lack of interaction and even boost conversations at home. We just finished the whole series of like bunch of things on TV, but we watch it as a family. And then you talk about it, talk about like, hey, see this character, the decisions they made further down the road, looks like it affected their life. Um, when you talk about that, it brings context and, into you know, how they interpret what they're seeing, right? And so you're teaching something uh, along the way. So Dr. Van says screen time for teenagers can be the most risky. Parents are, we encourage parents to look at what kind of parental controls they can put on um, for uh, to limit the, uh, the exploration, you know, if you will. And then just to talk about, like, if you find something and, okay, let's talk about what that, does that mean, you know, in, in the real world. And As plans for a slow progression back to normal begin, there is still a lot to learn about screen time and kids during this time. It's not the end of the world. I mean, you know, uh, we, we definitely um, need to look at going forward what it's going to be like um, and how we can maximize um, the use of online learning um, and also trying to uh, improve uh, mental health of children. So so as Dr. Fon said, it's not the end of the world. It's just a matter of making sure that anything that your kids are using screen time for has good content and good context. For now, we are live in Bakersfield. I'm Danielle Garrido, 23BC News, connecting you.